Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now answering question number six from the June 2024 Pure Mathematics P1 International A-Level Ed Excel exam. And here we have a question about the line L with the equation y equals 5, y minus 5x equals 75. y minus 5x equals 75. That's the equation of this line. And we have also y equals 2x squared plus x minus 21 is the equation of this curve, y equals 2x squared plus x minus 21. And what we are supposed to do here is we're told that the line L intersects the curve at two places, P and Q. Okay, so we have to use algebra to find the coordinates of P and Q. All right, so when we try to find where two lines intersect or two functions intersect then what we do is we solve the equations simultaneously and we can do that by what's called substitution all right and i like this i like i don't i don't really like to say um you know equate the two equations i don't like to say that the way i like to do it is say let's substitute one equation into the other so i can see there's a y here and i know that y is equal to this so if I replace the y with this, I have substituted one equation into the other, and the resulting equation I get will be the equation that tells me about the intersection between those two. Simple as that. So if I just replace this y with 2x squared plus x minus 21, so that's taking the place of the y, then I've got minus 5x. One second, what happened there? Something weird. And then I got minus 5x, and then equals 75. So I've replaced this y with all of this. That's y minus 5x equals 75. So now this equation is a quadratic, which will give me the solutions, okay, which will help me find where they intersect. So I've got 2x squared. x minus 5x is, take, is minus 4x, minus 21, minus 75. That's minus... 96 equals 0. Before I try to solve this, I can divide everything by 2 to make it easier. Each of those are even numbers. So 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared. Minus 4x divided by 2 is 2x. And minus 96 divided by 2 is 48. Like 40 plus 16, that's right. So to solve this, I can factorize, and I, I can think of two numbers. That when I multiply them together, I get negative 48. When I add them, I get negative 2. So they must have different signs. One is positive, one is negative, as we can see from here as well, the x values. And um, the numbers that multiply to give you 48, and the difference between them is 6 times 8 is 48. So it must be positive 6 and negative 8, because it has to be negative sum. So we got x equals negative 6 and x equals 8. So those are the two x values. Now we know that y minus 5x is equal to 75, which means that y is equal to 5x plus 75. So when x equals negative 6, y equals 5 times negative 6 plus 75, which is 75 minus 30, which is 45. So the coordinates of P are negative 6 and 45. And as for the coordinates of Q, when X equals 8, Y equals 5 times 8 plus 75. That's 40 plus 75, which is 115. So the coordinates of Q are um, 8 and 115. Okay, so there's the answer to part A of this question. All right, now we're going to go on to part B. Okay. And now for part B, it says the region R shown shaded in figure 3 is bounded by the curve C, the line L, and the x-axis. Use inequalities to define the region R. So basically, the region R is above the x-axis. The x-axis has equation y equals 0. 
So it's in the region where y is greater than or equal to zero. I'm going to put equal to because there's solid lines here. And the region R is below this line. Okay, so it's where y minus 5x is less than or equal to 75. Okay, you could um, test some points if you want to, but it's pretty simple. Basically, if the y is on the left side of the inequality and it's a positive coefficient of it, you follow the sign. If it's below the line, you say less than. If it's above the line, you say greater than. So it's no problem just to write y minus 5x is less than or equal to 75. You can even write if you want y is less than or equal to 5x plus 75 if you want. That's fine. Okay, and then finally, the curve. Right, anything that's inside the curve is considered above it, so it's greater than. Anything on the outside of the curve, the outside of the curve is considered below it, so less than. So we can say y is less than or equal to 2x squared plus x minus 21. Okay, so those three inequalities um, define this. Now we have to be careful here because there's also other places where this is going to be true. For example, um, when we're below the curve and we're below the line. Okay, we're below the curve and we're below the line would also be here. So if I stop there, okay, then this would also be included because y is greater than zero and we're below the line and below the curve. So we can't stop here. We have to have something else to eliminate this region because right now the way it looks now, we, are, we have to have a region above the, y, the, the x axis, below the line and below the curve. So th right now, if I left it like that, all this would also be included. So I have to eliminate this from our answer. How do I eliminate that from the answer? Well, I have to have an inequality where x is less than or equal to, for example, you could choose this point here. Okay. Or any point. Like, for example, even I can say x is less than or equal to zero. Why? Because um, if I say y is less than or equal to zero, inside anywhere inside here does not is not satisfied by the inequality. So I don't have to actually work out what these points are, no need. Okay, I have to factorize. So if I just say x is less than or equal to zero, that means my region has to be to the left of this point. None of this can be included because it, it, it doesn't. It's not satisfied by this. This this area here is where y is greater than two uh, x squared plus x minus twenty one. I want to start my region where y is less than or equal to. So if I mention y is less than or equal to zero, uh, sorry, x is less than or equal to zero, then I'm saying that we can only take places which is left of this, not right of this, so I've excluded this area, and it will start from the point where the, we're going on the other side of this graph, this curve. So that must be included as well for us to have a proper answer. So those are the inequalities that define the region R properly. If we don't leave this in there, then that side should also be shaded, so it's not, so it's been excluded. So I could write x is less than zero, I can write x and less than this point where it cuts the, the x-axis. I can write x is less than or equal to that point where it cuts the x-axis. It really doesn't matter. Okay? But I'll just put less than here because it's, it's not, it can't be equal to there. All right? Less than. Okay, so there we have the answer to part B. And that completes question number six, um, which is all about basically um, simultaneous linear equations, uh, quadratic equations, and also... Um, inequalities and regions. Thank you for watching. Other questions from this paper you'll find in the playlist on the top right of the screen at the end of this video. Other questions from the topic of um, quadratic equations and solving them you can find in this playlist and here you'll find questions dealing with inequalities and regions and you can subscribe to my channel by, by clicking on the top there. Thank you for watching and see you soon.